the propeller guard for the DJI uh, Mavic Pro 2 drones. It's right now, let's see how they look like, how uh, to install them on your drone, and also if it affects the performance of the drone as well. Let's go! All right, right out of the box, this is how they look like. They are very light, very lightweight, which is good so when you want to put that on a drone, you want uh, as less weight as possible uh, on the drone, so quite lightweight. Also, because they are lightweight, they feel a little bit fragile, so be careful when you handle them. Don't like go too hard on uh, squeezing them, feels like uh, it may bend easily or break easily. Now they come in uh, the same drone color, as you can see, it matches the Mavic 2 original factory color. They are the official from DJI anyway, so it uh, should match their own drone color. So official DJI products. It's not a third party product, which is great. And uh, so they open like so. As you can see, there is like an inch, some kind of inches here. So they just open like so, and then you have one half and the other will make the second half. Now, according to the user manual, you will have some marking inside them uh, that says uh, left back and right back. But it's easier if you look on the propeller guard themselves, they have some uh, marking here. You will see four white bands here and four white bands on the other one as well here. So those markings are actually very useful because they will have to be on the front of the drone. That means you will have to install them like so with the white marking on the front of the drone. Very easy to install, even if you don't see the very small marking inside them. Think about those uh, four marking, four white marking. Here is your right one then, and this is the left propeller guard right there. All right, let's put those on the drone now. First step is to unfold your drone's arm, like you used to. All right, now, we are going to start by the left propeller guard. So remember the white marking on the front, the open, if they are not open already, open the clips like so. And then we slide the drone arm like so on the propeller. Once it's both are on, we secure them with the clip until that they clip. You can really hear the clip. Tac, number one and Tack number two, be sure to double check those clips. You don't want your propeller guard to fall during your fly. That's not the point. So here we go. The left one are installed. Now we do the right one. Same procedure. We're going to slide over the drone arm like so. And then clip up the propeller guard on the drone. There we go. Now they are secure on the drone. And your drone is now ready to put the propeller and have a go. Remember to install the propeller after you install the guard because otherwise they may be a little bit on the way while you manipulate the arm and you may damage the propeller. I know that some of you guys uh, store your drone with the propeller on. I don't like that personally. I like to install my propeller on each fly and remove them after each fly. That allows me to always inspect my propeller, see if anything is broken, see or if any of those uh, little uh, notches are broken or damaged. So it's always a good idea to uh, remove your propeller from the drone after each fly, inspect them, store them, and then you inspect them again before to put them back on the drone before the next fly. All right, so propeller on now on the drone, opening them. I also like to open them already. I know some of you guys like to start the drone with the propeller folded and then the centrifuge force will just unfold the blade. But again, that's something, some other stress you put on your propeller. So I don't like that. If you already open them before the motor starts, you remove this extra stress from your propeller and they should last longer and have less damage on them. So it's another step to keep in mind. But of course you do what you want. <laughs> it's just a little advice from me. So everything is installed, everything is ready to go. 
but before I take off and I test uh, how those uh, propeller guard uh, affect my uh, fly time and my drone, I'm going to answer this question. Why the propeller guard? <laughs> well, it's easy. If you start, if you begin, if you are a beginner and you have like a Mavic Pro 2, you want to install those on your drone because you may hit a wall, you may hit some plant branches and you want to be uh, protected. To, from damage so those will do the trick just fine uh, they will touch any obstacle before your propeller get damaged and before eventually you drain uh, touch anything and get damaged as well so these propeller are very great a great idea for beginner but those propeller guard are also very useful if like me you plan on uh, flying around the park not national park normal park <laughs> where you have the authorization to fly film etc don't forget to ask for authorization everywhere you fly but imagine you have uh, an authorization to fly in a park but in a park there is people and of course the propeller guard will uh, avoid some injury in case if someone happened to be in the area when you land or when you take off unfortunately sometimes you have some uh, people that uh, try to be on your way or try to come very close to what you are doing and those propeller guard will be the best to protect other from injury to be uh, from being injured uh, by your drone so if you fly in an area that maybe some people uh, uh, could appear uh, uh, under you uh, around you of course you should not fly over people at any time but in case at least that way you are protected for any accident always think ahead and this i think in my opinion it's a nice touch uh, an extra protection an extra layer of protection for your drone if you plan on filming in an area where people may be located. So here we go, either for beginner or either uh, for extra layer of protection, the propeller guard are always a great idea, that's why I got them. And now I'm going to test them and uh, let's uh, go and fly with those and see how my drone perform. Okay, drone is ready to go. I just installed a fresh battery, which is 100%, and also it's a new battery that I've been, uh, I have received that uh, very recently. It's new, never been used in flight before, fully charged, so to give the best chance to this scenario, to this, this test, to see how long the drone, actually I should say hovering, we do the propeller mounted on. And of course, to make this uh, test uh, more accurate, I do have a timer here that I will start at the same time I start taking off with the drone. Okay, step one, powering up the controller, in my case, the smart controller, and then powering up the drone itself, like so. And uh, once everything is spare, I'm just going to wait for satellites, but I have enough satellites to be able to get my own point. I'm not going to go far away anyway, I'm just going to over here, but it's good to have satellite, never know, something may happen. Uh, plus I will uh, have less uh, work to do if it's uh, hovering by itself instead of uh, flying a VLAN. So here we go, everything is ready and good to go. All right, so the battery I've installed on the drone, it's only a 95%. It was a brand new one a battery that just arrived and that was fully charged three days ago. But I guess when you just leave it on the shelf for three days, uh, you lose a little bit. So it was 100% charged, now it's 95% charged. Uh, as you can see on the screen now, uh, all the cells have 428 volts average, 27, 27, 28, at 17.10 volts. Battery temperature is 28.67 28 Celsius now. So in any case, let's do the test, see how long we have with the, the battery at 95%. Ready to go.
All right, the drone decide, decided to land when the battery was under 10% left. So under 10% left of battery with my cell at 3.6 and the voltage at 14.69. Temperature of the battery was 53.7. And uh, as you can see now, this is the flight time that I had. 20 minutes, 34 seconds. That's the moment it touched down from the moment it took off. So 20 minutes, 34 seconds. Here we have on flight time with those uh, guard uh, propeller, propeller guard. So that gives you an idea of uh, how your drone will perform with those on. Okay, test done. So now you have an idea of uh, how the drone will perform with those uh, propeller guard. So to be fair now, a little bit of explanation about this test. It was not super accurate. First of all, you notice that the battery, despite to be new, uh, it was at 95% and I find out later that uh, the automatic discharge of the battery, you know that uh, all the Mavic drone, uh, all the battery, intelligent battery that those drones use come with automatic discharge and the discharge time was set at two days. And like I was saying uh, earlier, I, I charged the battery fully and I left it on the shelf for three days. So the battery probably started to discharge before I was able to use it today on the drone. That's why the battery was only 95% and not 100% charge for the test. Another factor also to take in consideration is that I cheat a little bit. I didn't leave the drone on Hoover all the time. I was playing a little bit with the function, with the turning, tilting, panning and all that, but just a little bit. But this may have influenced also the test, may have used a little bit more battery than if I have left the drone over and don't touch it for all these uh, those 20 minutes but yes i play a little bit with it so that may have affected the result but despite all that despite me playing with the drone the battery uh, being a little bit discharged already all that factor or those factor having as a result uh, 20 minutes of flight time with the propeller guard i think it's not bad uh, okay it was mostly over with a little bit of play but 20 minutes uh, with the propeller guard, with a lot of wind today, it was also uh, quite windy today. So that's another factor that can come in play with this test. So all those factors all together, I'm actually quite surprised that I reached 20 minutes of flight time with the drone. Now, well, I will, uh, I'm going to leave the drone run until the battery dies completely. That will allow me to charge it from completely zero. Actually, 0%, uh, as you can see on the screen, was totally 0% and quite low on voltage. So from this stage, completely empty. I'm going to recharge it fully again. <laughs> Probably change the time uh, the battery need to wait until it's discharged on the DJI GO app. So it will be all ready to go next time I have a mission to do with my drone. But in any case, here we go guys. Hope this video has been useful for you. You have an idea of uh, how the Mavic 2 Pro zoom, uh, it's my drone here, how the Mavic 2 Pro zoom so handle with those uh, propeller guard otherwise uh, fly uh, as usual it's not impacting uh, the flight that's why to begin with i was playing with all the tilt and pan and yo and all that to be able to see if my drone handle normally despite the fact that i have installed these propeller guard so that was not impacting uh, my maneuvering uh, ability of the drone just maybe the battery length the battery time the flight time that you have with the drone but otherwise, despite the wing that we have today, it flew perfectly. But anyway, thanks again for watching. Again, hope this video has been uh, useful for you, despite all the little mistakes that I made uh, during the test. And uh, well, see you next time. Bye bye.